Welcome back to Harbour Unbox. Today we have another awesome custom modded build series from Alex of Simple Mods. Not one but two custom rigs will be created in this video, and Alex also ran into a bit of a coolant disaster with one of them, which he'll show you guys. So with that, I'm going to hand it over to Alex. He'll explain a little bit more about the builds, why he's doing them, and all that stuff, and then of course show you what went wrong. Hey, what's going on guys? Alex here and it's great to be back with another video. This time I've got two systems to show you as I've built two identical Cooler Master Cosmos C700P systems, one in normal ATX form factor and the other in reverse. They're both CSGO themed with the orange system representing terrorists and the blue system representing the counter-terrorist team. Now other than the obvious color choices, there are more slight CSGO aspects found inside the two builds and I'll let you guys spot these out. However, the uh, main theme is based on the Aztec map. I thought uh, integrating the Mayan patterns with computer hardware and water cooling is going to look great and I really like the way um, both builds have turned out. Two systems were sponsored by Intel for the Intel Extreme Masters event in Sydney last month where there were the showpiece systems found on the Simple Mods case botting booth where I had quite a few of my modded systems on display and also hence why the CSGO themed worked perfectly for these two builds. Let us know in the comments if you attended the event and maybe checked out the boot. Other than the insanely large Cooler Master Cosmos c 700 p cases, the two systems have identical specs featuring an Intel Core i9-7900X processor on an ASUS ROG Strix X299E gaming motherboard with 32 gigs of Team Group Nighthawk RGB 3200MHz DDR4 RAM a 512GB Intel 760p M.2 SSD as the main OS drive, a 2TB Seagate Firecuda SSHD and a whopping 12TB Seagate Barracuda Pro hard drive. And also, not to forget, two ASUS ROG Strix GTX 1080 graphics cards running an SLI. This is all being powered by the Cooler Master V1200 Watt power supply with awesome Cable Mod Pro custom sleeved cables and water cooled exclusively using Bits Power. I am using Mayhem's Aura Orange uh, coolant in the orange build of course and this is the very first type of Aura coolant from Mayhem's. I had two unopened bottles for years and I'm surprised at how well it's been holding up even more than a month after the show and I've been using this rig uh, quite regularly with no issues so I'm definitely impressed. However in the blue system I did initially have the new Primo Chill View coolant which unfortunately had a bad reaction with the acrylic. Um, on the water blocks, so I'm not 100% sure what happened, but I know it was a nightmare to flush and uh, clean out, so it definitely wasn't a great experience as you'll see. However, that's not to say I don't appreciate what Primo are offering with their view coolant. Uh, I've used other colors in the past with no issues at all, and I'll continue to use and experiment with this coolant. Plus, their new Primo Prep Loop Prep is meant to improve things with View, and it's actually now bundled with View bottles being sold from Primo Chill. However, keeping in mind that if you're not an experienced user when it comes to custom water cooling, you may want to avoid these types of show coolants if you don't want something like this to happen to you as well. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the time lapse video and, of course, the two finished builds as well. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.
Well, I hope you enjoyed those builds by Alex. It was pretty awesome stuff, and it was great to see him able to cram a couple of weeks' work into 20 minutes and show you guys the process from start to finish. I always find that really interesting. I'll include a link in the video description to go check out Alex's channel, Simple Mod, so make sure you do that as well. And that is going to do it for this one. We have plenty more content coming up later in the week, so stay tuned for all that, and I'll catch you again soon.